What is contemplative prayer? Can it only be done by saints and mystics? How is it different from normal meditative prayer? Before we answer these, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of our videos. Okay, so what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of contemplative prayer? Maybe you think of the mystics like St. Catherine of Siena or St. Teresa of Avila or St. John of the Cross. Maybe you think of someone who's lost in their thoughts or maybe a cloistered nun or a desert monk. Or maybe you think of completely emptying your mind and thinking of nothing at all. What you probably don't think of is just a regular lay Catholic during their personal prayer time. Why is that? Well, in the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, prayer may sometimes become just another thing to check off our to-do list. For many of us, prayer is more like approaching God with a list of things we need from Him or want Him to do. Sometimes we even remember to thank Him for some blessings we have received. If we are a bit more serious about our prayer lives, we might go for an extra mass during the week, pray the rosary and even spend some time reading the Bible during our daily time of personal prayer. But when we read about the lives of the saints, many of them have deep personal experiences of God. They describe their time with God with phrases that seem so difficult for us to comprehend. They talk about a dark night or the fragrance of God or a spiritual marriage. What they are describing is actually contemplative prayer. So what exactly is contemplative prayer? To answer this, let's first look at what the church teaches about prayer. Now, there are broadly three categories of prayer, vocal, meditative and contemplative. Vocal prayers are the prayers that you pray aloud like the Our Father or the responses at Mass. In meditative prayer, we use our mind to understand and reflect on something that leads to prayer. We usually need something to meditate on like books for spiritual reading or the daily Bible readings or even the various mysteries of the Rosary that give us something to think about first, understand what God is revealing to us and then pray about that. Meditative prayer involves a lot of our own effort. Now, contemplative prayer is not just some other style or form of prayer. It's not a specific method or practice of prayer that can be learned. So what is contemplative prayer? Think of the life of Jesus in the Gospels. There are several times that Jesus spent the entire night praying to God or when he withdrew to lonely places and prayed to the Father. Why would Jesus need to spend so much time alone in prayer? Was he praying for things that we pray for like direction or guidance or certain decisions, petition or asking for God's help in some situation or thanking God for his blessings? Probably not. Since Jesus is God, he didn't need any of those things. He might have done it as an example for us, but that's not why he prayed. Jesus prayed to grow in relationship with God the Father. He prayed to develop that deep personal union with God, the one the mystics and saints talk about. Saint Teresa describes it like this. Contemplative prayer, in my opinion, is nothing less than a close sharing between friends. It means taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us. The Catechism goes on to say that through contemplative prayer, we seek the one whom our soul loves. Through it, we seek Jesus and in Him, God the Father. We seek Jesus only out of love for Him. Contemplative prayer is the prayer of the child of God, of the forgiven sinner who agrees to welcome the love by which he is loved and who wants to respond to it by loving even more. Meditation and contemplation are both forms of mental prayer where you speak to God to grow in intimacy. So what's the difference? Meditation requires more effort on our part. I am seeking to know God using my mind and imagination to seek Him and follow His will. In contemplation, however, God takes the active role. Contemplative prayer is more like a gift or a grace given to us when we humbly surrender to a deeper union with Jesus. Contemplative prayer is the simplest type of prayer because we just want to be in God's presence, to be with Him, abide in Him, to rest in Him. Now, usually contemplation emerges from meditation. To understand it a little better, think of the steps of Lecture Divina. First, you read, say, a passage of scripture, then you meditate on it, think about what stands out to you, then you pray about what God is revealing to you through that phase. Once you finish all these steps, you then come to contemplation, where you simply rest in the Lord's presence. You're not reading or thinking or actively talking to God. You are just sitting in silence with Him. Contemplation is a gaze of faith fixed on Jesus, a silent expression of love. It's not about gaining the required skills or achieving a certain level of prayer. 
contemplation is more about the inner attitude of our hearts humility faith and an intense love for god so why is contemplative prayer this important the goal of the christian life is union with god right god created us out of love so that we can enter into a relationship with him the final destination is to be united with god in heaven now there's only one way we can make that happen we must strive for holiness so what does it mean to grow in holiness it means growing in love for god as our love for god increases we are purified of our sins our earthly attachments and desires and basically anything that holds us back from surrendering ourselves completely to god and this is where contemplative prayer comes in through contemplation god transforms us to become more like him to transform us into his image and likeness in his apostolic letter nova millennio in juventus pope saint john paul ii describes how prayer helps us to achieve this union he says prayer can progress as a genuine dialogue of love to the point of rendering the person wholly possessed by the divine beloved vibrating at the spirit's touch resting filially within the father's heart this is the lived experience of christ's promise he who loves me will be loved by my father and i will love him and manifest myself to him now this isn't just something for mystics or great saints of old all of us are called to have this kind of relationship with god one of the best teachers on contemplative prayer is saint john of the cross through his writings he shares his personal experiences of his intimate relationship with god he describes contemplative prayer as nothing less than a secret peaceful and loving infusion from god which if it is possible enkindles the soul with a spirit of love what we need most in order to make progress is to be silent before this great god with our appetites and our tongue for the language he best hears is silent love so how can we start this journey of contemplative prayer start by trying to be consistent in your time of personal prayer take a few moments to just quietly sit before god turn off your phones and prepare your heart and mind even before you sit down for prayer take time throughout your day to be in god's presence now most of us will not just automatically enter into a contemplative state and that's okay be silent and try to listen to god Even if you don't hear anything just enjoy God's loving presence. Think of it this way. If you have a close friend or a spouse, you could spend hours in conversation with them. But there are also times when you don't need to say a word. You are just happy to sit with them. That's what contemplative prayer is. One question we might need to ask ourselves is do we desire to get into a deeper relationship with God? Most of us just think of prayer as something we must do as Christians. We praise and thank God for his blessings and pray for things we need. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? In fact, God delights in asking for our needs, but what he really wants is for us to become more like him. And that comes only through spending time with God and allowing him to work on us and transform us to make us like him. So start by asking God to help us desire him above all else. to make sure that he takes the first place in our lives try to cultivate that deep longing for god and then ask god for the grace to rest in him to abide in him as it says in john 15 verse 4 abide in me and i in you as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me so what do you think about this did you hear about the contemplative prayer before this now that you know about it will you give it a try let us know in the comments below Also if you like this video let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel it helps us a lot until next time